Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you a much requested video. It is my what is in my hospital bag video. So if you've been following this channel you'll know that I am now over 36 weeks pregnant and this was the stage last time when I decided it was time to pack my hospital bag and I think that is a good time to do so. I have been getting a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions and I've also been like sick quite often in the evening after having dinner. All of these things scream time to get ready for this baby to me. So I've been trying really hard to pull things together and I thought I would share them with you. This is my second baby. Um, so I feel a little bit more like I know what I need this time. But I did watch back, back my old video, which I filmed when Elena was coming along um, about nearly three years ago. Oh well, two and a half years ago. And just to remind myself of what I actually used, I'll link that video below what I actually used in my hospital bag because that's probably the most useful. Um, and that reminded me of what I actually needed. Um, it is worth saying that I am having my baby in the UK in an NHS hospital and that means that there are a few things that we do need to take with us that would otherwise probably be provided to you if you are going into a private hospital or if you're in the US. Um, but obviously being the NHS, um, there are a few things that we do need to take with us that are not provided by the hospital. It is worth just bearing that in mind as I go through. You probably think I've overpacked, but there are a lot of things that are essential in the UK that aren't necessarily so in the US and other places. Other things to note are that I am at the moment expecting to have a natural labour, but there is still a chance that I may be taken in for a caesarean. Um, I have not yet had my final scan for the doctor to make that decision. If you want to know why the reasons for that, I'll link my pregnancy updates below and you can have a look at that. But there is a, um, I do have placenta previa, so it's possible that I may have to get a section. So bear that in mind as well as you go through my videos. Um, I'm now going to film, I'm going to film this video in two parts. First part, which I'm filming today, is what is in my hospital bag for baby. Um, so I'm going to show you what we have packed for her. Um, we are aware there's a baby girl, but I'm always a little bit frightened to pack all baby girl things in my hospital bag just in case because I have heard of them making mistakes. So I always pack some gender neutral things. Um, also, the going home hospital from hospital outfit was picked by my toddler and she's going through a princess dresses phase. So it is super dressy, little dress. Um, but I'll show that to you. I said she could choose, so that's what we're going with. That's what she chose. Um, but yes, um, without any further ado, let's get into the hospital bag. So everything from my baby's hospital bag I have packed in this diaper bag or changing bag. This is the same one that I used for Elena. I had to, I had to or I have to. I have a black one that matches her silver cross pram, which I generally use in winter. And then this one for the summer. And this is a pretty large changing bag and what I really like about it is these straps. You can change them to make it a long strap for over your shoulder, cross body or keep them as they are. They can also click onto the pram. You can obviously move the straps into the middle as well. And the brand on this was Pink Lining. I'm pretty sure I got this from Zulily. And you can see that I have packed everything inside in little Ziploc bags. So I'll take them out and show you exactly what's inside each of these bags and everything that I'm taking to the hospital for baby. So I have deconstructed my hospital bag for baby a little bit so that I can show you what is inside. First of all, I'll show you what's still inside this changing bag. I have newborn nappies. So these are first size nappies. I have chosen to take 20 here. I think Generally, on average, you're talking about 10 nappies a day for a newborn, 10 to 12, possibly. Um, so this is really like a couple of days. I don't expect to be in the hospital more than that. Um, however, I am going to keep the rest of the pack in the, in the car. So this is a 50 pack, so there's another um, 30 in here. So I'm just going to keep that in the car. My husband can collect it if I need it. But otherwise, I should have plenty in here, hopefully. I've also got some bags, nappy bags in the back, little scented ones just from b &Ms. And I have some water wipes in here. Then I have this inside zip here and I just have a couple of things in it that 
we'll probably just live in here so I don't necessarily expect to need a first aid kit um, in my first few days with a newborn. It's just got plasters and wipes and things but I do like to keep that in there more, more for my toddler than anybody else. And then I also have a hand sanitizer. This is just the Assure one which is it's alcohol, fragrance and colour free, which I think is probably better for a newborn's skin. Um, obviously 99.9% .9 of bacteria as you would expect as standard. So that's all that's in that zip. And that's all that's in the main part of this bag. The bag then has a zip on either side. So on this side, I have some cotton squares which I probably will use in the first couple of days on the baby's body before moving on to the water wipes. And then I also have um, a couple of things, generally again not for the hospital bag, so much as for the changing bag ongoing, on an ongoing basis. This is a star hair bobble, this is my toddler's. Um, I'll definitely be keeping a bobble in there for her because she's always losing them. This is a lip balm for me, Blistex Intensive Moisturiser. I'll have them everywhere in the hospital. <laughs> I have them in my own hospital bag and this one because my lips got really, really dry in the hospital last time. And this is another lip balm, Mistletoe Kisses. It's a slight tint um, lip balm, so keep them in here. And then onto the front zip of this bag, I have got a few different things in here. I have got... I have a little sister um, bib. We do expect this to be a baby girl, so I've got that in here. And then I've also got just a couple of these sort of bando, are they called bando? Little triangle bibs. Um, one in an animal print, one that says, hello, lovely. And then the final thing in here is a changing mat. This is just one of these ones. These are... This is one of the on-the-go changing mats that you just open and lay out your lay your baby on. You can also put some products in here, but I have it empty. And I will generally keep this in the changing bag um, after the hospital visit. So on to the clothes for baby. And as you can see, I have packed them in these Ziploc bags. I did this last time around for my firstborn. And I found these to be really useful because I use them for any kind of wet soiled clothes, anything dirty for my husband to take away. Um, but it kept everything nice and clean and tidy in my hospital bag. And it meant that my husband could really easily find something just after the birth when I wasn't really up to getting up and jumping out of bed. He was able to find things really easily. So going from left to right here, I have got three newborn vests. These are just short sleeved vests and three little newborn hats in here, all white, gender neutral. I then have two newborn sleep suits. These are kind of gender neutral, although they, they do look quite girly to me. They're supposed to be gender neutral. Um, these are both newborn size. And then skipping over here, I have four more. Again, all gender neutral, just in case baby girl turns out to be a baby boy. Going back to this, all of these little vests are from um, Mother Care, as are the hats. So the little vests and the hats are from Mother Care. These two newborn sleep suits are from Nutmeg at Morrison's, they were a gift. And these four newborn sleep suits are all from Next, and they have those fold over hands so that, they, so that the baby doesn't need mittens, which is really great, um, as do these ones as well. And then in case the baby's just a little bit bigger, I've got three zero to three size vests. Um, two of them are these have the kind of pink around the rim. One is just plain white. The pink ones are from M & Co, I think. And the white one is from Mother Care. And then I have some socks. Some just newborn socks. Um, can't remember. I think they might be from Primark, actually. They are hand-me-downs from Elena. And then in the next drawer, we have got, starting over here, um, another Ziploc baggie with three muslins and one burp cloth. So these two with the stars, muslin cloths, are from Primark. And this one is from Aiden and Anais, and they're also really great for swaddling. 
And this is one of these thin throw over the shoulder burp cloths, which is handy if you're burping your baby and you don't want to get mess on your shoulder. The next Ziploc bag has some zero to three sleep gowns. So again, I've got plenty of newborn, but just in case the baby is a little bigger. I did think that I would pack a couple of these, but these are also the ones that have no feet. So they are literally like a nightgown um, for babies. And I generally, I thought these would be fantastic last time around. I saw them in everyone's newborn must have videos, but actually we hardly use them. But when we did use them was in the hospital and um, the, the doctors did find these useful for checking the baby because they could just lift up the kind of gown without like undoing lots of buttons and disturbing your child to double check their umbilical cord. So I packed two of those. One is with little yellow ducks on and the other has pink spots. So one gender neutral, one more girly. And finally we have her coming home outfit. I'm going to take this out of the packet so you can see. Like I said at the beginning of the video, my two and a half year old toddler chose this and this is what she wants, so that is what we're going with. So it's fairly dressy, so let me just get it out and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what is in that Ziploc bag for coming home. Um, so I've already got the vests, so I haven't packed these, but I've packed her a little knitted cardigan. This was hand knitted by um, a member of my family, it's so gorgeous. This was Elena's, so again, another hand-me-down, as is this dress, which Elena chose for her baby sister to come home in. Um, it is fairly dressy, it's gorgeous, and I think it is a size, yeah, so it's size two to four months. Um, the brand is Name It, I don't know, this was a, it also says newborn actually, size newborn. Um, this was a gift. Talina, it's gorgeous, from a little boutique and to go with these we have some frilly newborn pants, I think these were from a little boutique as well and then some little newborn socks and believe it or not these are actually from Poundland, they're really cute from Poundland, so that is her going home outfit and that is the last of what's in here and believe it or not Believe it or not, it does all actually fit into this changing bag perfectly. So that is everything that I packed in my hospital bag for baby girl when she comes. Um, if you think I missed anything, please let me know in the comments below because like I said, whilst I feel like I know this time around what I need, it was two and a half years ago when I went into labour the first time. So I might have forgotten something or perhaps there's something new on the market that I haven't seen, so let me know. I have probably overpacked, especially given this is the second time around, I did not expect to be in the hospital for more than one night. I stayed in the hospital two nights um, first time around. I'm hoping to only stay one night, but it really does depend on whether it's natural labour or C-section, so I prefer to be prepared. You just never know. But it is worth saying that you probably don't need all of these things for your baby. But if you've got space in your bag, it's better to be safe than sorry. So if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see my what's in my hospital bag for mummy, which I will be filming later this week. And I will see you in our next video. Bye.